you say, well, everybody's making so much money in real estate, what's happening? Well, it's true if you bought real estate, especially industrial, four or five years ago, you're making money. If you're buying homes, you're making money. Hotels, I think hotel prices have come up. Um, what about retail? Re retail malls have really been hurt. I can tell you that in Canada, uh, especially in uh, Alberta or Ontario, uh, if you're not in those two places, I think if you're in the U.S., it's a different story, but Alberta, uh, Saskatchewan, what's happened? So, you know, during uh, COVID time, it was really tough for a lot of mom and pa operators. They actually lost their businesses. Uh, as a result, a lot of our malls ended up with a lot of vacancies. The government stepped in, said, hey, listen, mom and pa will help you. Uh, we'll give you 50% um, rebate. We'll pay for that. We'll, uh, we'll want you to pay 25%. And hey, Mr. Landlord, by the way, pay 25%. So, <laughs> Immediately, my cash flow dropped. So if I have a 75% mortgage and 25% equity of my, my return on equity was coming in, I, it disappeared overnight. Overnight, it just disappeared because of COVID. People were not paying. So was it better for me to have the government paying 50% of the rent and the landlord paying, uh, us giving 25% and the tenant paying 25%? Was that a better deal? Well, yeah, it was. Here's the problem. Places like Alberta and Saskatchewan really suffered with oil prices going down. I know oil prices are over $100 and you know what that's like at the pump. But, and you know, it takes time for people to recover. It's been a really hard run for a lot of people in Alberta and Saskatchewan and some of the prairie provinces in Canada. And um, patience is the key. So you're looking for appreciation and that appreciation is now starting to come in those provinces uh, for retail. In the States, retail has come back in a big way. Um, I know in Florida, in Miami, uh, there's still deals out there to buy retail. So people are jumping on retail because they can't afford to buy industrial. So if you're looking for some kind of investment or some kind of portfolio you want to develop, Retail is maybe still good because you can still buy some retail, especially in Alberta, for anywhere from five to six percent. Um, good properties, five or six percent. The problem is there's not much for sale as well, but values really did drop because of lack of rents, lack of confidence. And now with oil prices going up, you're seeing an effect in Calgary where the Real estate market has come back. You're seeing that uh, real estate residential. You're seeing that uh, now a little bit in Edmonton. So what what does that mean? That means is that if one is patient, which you have to be, you have no choice. You have to be patient. You know, we'll see probably retail come back in two, three years, four years, maybe even five. So if you're an owner of retail, be patient. You'll see the marketplace come back um, in terms of rents. You know, one of the good things about being a tenant is the tenant was very lucky. He was able to go to the landlord and negotiate rents. So if they were paying, let's just pick a number, $30 a square foot for space, they, they were now able to go back to the landlord and says, hey, I can't make it, I'm moving. And you go, hey, what? didn't you sign a five-year contract with me saying that you'll pay me $30? Yeah, but it's COVID. I'm not going to pay you. I can either leave or uh, we renegotiate the deal. So we had to renegotiate some of the deals. But listen, if that happens today and a guy comes to me and he says, I want to renegotiate the deal, my first instinct is to tell him to go to hell. So these are the ups and downs of retail investing. I hope you enjoyed this video. It gives you a day-to-day -day story of what life is like trying to manage uh, retail properties. Uh, we have quite a few retail properties and we're trying to manage them. We're also trying to sell them yeah, if we can get a good price. Um, and I think those prices will come back shortly. All the best.